Hello, so um, in this video, I'd like to discuss about the GCSE results. So the GCSE results are being collected tomorrow for this uh, this year. So that's on the 25th of um, August 2022. And it's always um, important to connect with, you know, what's going on for you as a parent, care or guardian. First of all, how are you feeling about it? Are you nervous? Are you anxious? Are you excited? Now, the reason being um, that we want to get connected with, with how we feel first, which might seem contradictory, right? You might think, well, it should be all about my child and, and their results. But it's really important so that we don't project our feelings onto them. So check in with yourself and how you're feeling and be really honest. OK, this is not to, to talk to your child. This is for yourself. And then start to think about the reasons behind it, okay? So start to think about the reasons behind it. So if you're feeling happy and excited, maybe it's because you are anticipating that your child has done well and you can't wait for them to, um, you know, to, to receive those results. You know, it's going to boost their confidence and you know the doors it's going to open for them. But maybe you're feeling on the other end of the spectrum, dread, fear, and it's because you know that they haven't done as well as they could have. And maybe it's because you feel that actually, frustratingly, they didn't put in the effort. They weren't revising properly. And you know that they could have done better. And that's what you're fearing. Now, regardless of where you are with your feelings, it's important, that, as I said at the start, that you're honest and write them down. And then look at the reasons why. Why do you feel that way? And if you strip it back, whether you're happy or whether you're feeling sad or worried or anxious, it's ultimately because you love your child. It's because you love them, you want them to be happy, and you want what's best for them. So when you can kind of get connected to that, the results are almost irrelevant, okay? And that might seem contradictory again, but what's the most important thing that you can do as a child's support network as a parent, carer, guardian, whoever you are, is to put them at the forefront, okay? And remember that. And that way then it will allow you to be there for them regardless of the results, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is to gauge how your child is feeling. How are they feeling about it? And again, that's really important. They might be feeling nervous, excited. They might be feeling dread or worry, and that's okay. Allow them to feel whatever emotions they're feeling. And again, that's really important so they're not bottling it up, okay? And particularly the night before, so tonight, just make sure that you do something fun, keep their mind off it, you know, make sure that they're eating well um, and that they get lots of rest, you know, before the, before the big day. And then I would also say make sure that you don't compare them, okay? Make sure that you're not comparing them and nip it in the bud if your child starts to do that. So do not compare them to their cousins, their siblings, their friends. Oh, don't do that. It's irrelevant. Even if you think it's a good thing, so comparing them because they you think they've done better or you know when you collect the results, they do. Don't do that because it's setting them up to, to make those comparisons um, later on and it's unfair on the others. And equally, do not compare them to say, oh, well, your, your, your brother or your sister or your cousin did better than you. There's no good that can come for that. So do not compare them. That's the first thing. So make sure they don't do that and make sure that they don't compare themselves to their friends and that you're not comparing that too. So no comparisons. And then the third thing um, that you want to make sure is that um, you get clear with, well, what are their results? Um, so what I mean by that is once they have opened up those envelopes or however they're receiving it and they've got them, look at what they've achieved, okay? Now, if it is greater than what you've expected, fantastic, celebrate. And if it's not, if they've done not as well and they're disappointed, you know, reward their efforts, okay? And put it in perspective. So allow them to think about, well, okay, what can we do now? Do they need to reset? Do they need to look at different avenues to still achieve what they want? Remember. Um, they might not get into their first choice of college or sixth form, but that does not mean that they won't be able to pursue their choice of career. It might mean that they have to 
you know, look at a foundation course or an apprenticeship or something, but there's always a way. So bear that in mind and make sure that you research with them so that they can see that themselves, okay? And look what steps need to be taken. And then if they haven't done as well as they could have, so for example, they were predicted a higher grade, their mock results were better, but you know that they didn't put the effort in, they weren't studying well, they couldn't be bothered. There's no point going over the past, okay? There's no point doing that. It's only going to make them feel bad and yourself. But what you can do is start to look at, or well, what so? Ask them to explain how they're feeling and get them present to, well, what so? Well, what so is you've got this result. And then get them to think, okay, well, what do you think caused this result? And it's without blame. And they might come to the conclusion, well, actually, I didn't revise so well. And look at, well, why? Was it because they were anxious? Was it because they were stressed? Um, equally, if they didn't do so well, but they had put in the effort, get them to think about, well, why? Could it have just been a bad exam? Anxiety. It's good to reflect. It's good to reflect because that's where the learning lies without any blame. But always go back to, well, what can we do now? What would you like to create right now for your life? These grades do not define you, okay? And that's true. I can't stress that enough. I know plenty of people who don't have, who didn't do very well in their exams and have gone on to lead happy, successful lives. Equally, I know people who've done exceptionally well and have gone on to lead happy and exciting and successful lives as well. It's what you do with it. So if your child is feeling bad about it, then maybe resitting is an option. If that isn't a possibility for them to do, or it's something they don't want to do, then think about well, what it is they do want to do, what is possible for them. As I said, is it doing an additional year, like a foundation year at university? Would that, would that be what's necessary? Is it um, taking BTECs or A-level or an apprenticeship, internship? Just think about what they can do, okay? And that's really important. So that way then they're going to feel empowered and, you know, talk to, you know, college admissions, sixth form admissions, you know, talk to people who are going to be able to advise and there's no judgment because there will always be opportunities and possibilities for your child. Um, and I think that's really important to connect with them, okay? A grade does not define your child. It's the way they react, respond, and the actions they take thereafter that does, okay? And I can't stress that enough. So those are my tips for surviving, you know, GCSE results. And as I said, make sure that you're, you know, rewarding the efforts. And even if you feel they haven't put in the effort, um, and maybe they feel that way too, look at the reasons why without blame or without excuses. It's just about being honest and reflecting and look at what we can create going forward. And then perhaps that is what you can genuinely and authentically be proud of them for the way they're handling it. And for now, taking proactive steps going forward, okay? Um, lots of praise, lots of love. And remember, you as a parent, all you want is what's best for your child because you care and love them. And so whatever emotions you're going through, make sure that you speak to partners, or you know, family members or somebody so that you are not feeling stressed and anxious and so that you're not projecting them on your child. But just go back to what's important and it's your child's well-being at the end of the day. Um, good luck for everyone who are going to be receiving the results tomorrow, BTECs and GCSEs. Um, I look forward to, to hearing your successes and remember just to make sure that you celebrate your achievement, whatever that is, and I wish you all the best. Bye for now.